Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to work on a classic art project known as the Face Vase, also known as the Rubin Vase. I'm showing you just a few um, samples of some Greek vases. Here's what our final project is going to look like, and here is our supply list. Um, the supplies on the right are our drawing and inking tools. You have a fine point sharpie, a marker, a pencil, and on the left you've got some colored pencils, a little bit of acrylic paint, and a brush. Okay, to get this project started, the first thing you want to do is divide your paper into four equal spaces. Um, just measure the halfway point um, in your vertical and horizontal direction, and then go ahead and get those lines drawn into place. Uh, after that, you are going to need to either print a profile picture of yourself, or go ahead and just snap a quick picture on your cell phone, and you can have that as a reference. Um, something to keep in mind, um, your eye is about the halfway point of your face. Um, I started on the tip of my nose just because it uh, is the point that protrudes out the furthest and went down from there. And so if you want to start at the eye level or the end of the nose, that is okay either way. So I got that profile in place. What I'm doing now is I'm going ahead and working on getting that second profile in place. This is sort of a little bit of a workaround. You can uh, easily just um, challenge yourself and draw that other profile or you can use this method, I call this the transfer method, where you trace the first profile, um, load up the paper with graphite, turn it over, and then trace it once again and to get that second uh, mirror image on the other side. Uh, what I'm doing there is making sure I have a mark right at the end of the nose so that I'm able to see through the paper and line up the nose exactly lined up with the profile on the left so that I get a perfect um, replica on both sides. Here I'm just tracing over the lines so that I get that ghost image underneath. Okay, there you have it. So now I've got the foundational elements of my vase. I'm going ahead and darkening that ghost line and I'm ready to start working on making my two silhouettes or two profiles look more like a vase or a cup. In my case they look more like a cup and less like a vase. Okay so this line at the bottom does need to have that subtle curve just like you would see on a glass if you were looking down on it. Um, this top part you might need to use just a little bit of imagination. Um, if your faces are a little bit lower down you can add a little bit more top to your cup. My uh, faces were um, higher up and so my cup is a little bit shorter on the top which is just fine. You want to make sure that line you draw at the top replicates the um, curve that you have at the bottom and then once you've got both of those curves in place you're going to draw that uh, inside part of the cup as well. Okay this part is really important to have a reference as you can see I've brought in a couple of um, Greek vases that I found on the internet. This is so important in being able to replicate that Greek style and know what you're doing um, with being able to draw those Greek patterns. Okay, and that probably took me around an hour or so to get all those little designs in there. It is fairly time consuming, but definitely well worth it. All right, now I'm going into the center part of the vase. I chose to do sort of a sky and ocean theme. And something I wish I had done that would have helped uh, create the illusion of roundness is my waves there. I wish I had just added a little bit more of a curve and kept that consistent um, curve um, theme going to help it look less flat, more curved. Uh, I could have also used some uh, references in drawing my fish. They ended up looking a little bit cartoony, which is okay in this instance. And then I draw these little swirls in the water to help fill in some of that negative space. Okay, off to the inking part. Once again, this did take quite a bit of time. Uh, this is where you're going to use your ultra, uh, ultra fine point Sharpie pen and just carefully darken in um, a lot of this space. Um, some of the bigger areas you can um, darken in in markers. I initially outlined everything with the ultra fine point Sharpie pen and then that makes it so I can get some nice crisp edges. Um, your goal with the inking, guys, is to get 40 to 50 percent of this colored black. As you can see with the vase on the upper left sample, um, there is quite a bit of black in these, so 40 to 50 percent is your goal. Okay, on to the coloring portion, down to the final stretch. The coloring did take quite a bit of time. Um, I started out with an orange, layered it with sort of a magenta, 
and then a yellow orange at the end and then added some black along the edges to give it more shadow and then did a little bit of blending with the white which you can easily get carried away with um, it enabled me to get a nice highlight though which worked out pretty well okay to finish this off I just took a tiny dot of acrylic paint and watered it down significantly and created a wash in the background and that is just about it guys there's the finished piece good luck working on this project I hope you enjoy it have fun doing this thanks for tuning in